Welcome to this week's Kids Connection. I'm your host, Christopher James. This week, we went to Branson Junior High School. Not only did they have an art exhibit, they also had an annual talent show. That's right, some amazing students showed off their art skills, their singing skills, and even a little bit of dancing, as well as some amazing musicians. This week on Kids Connection. In Branson, we're surrounded by amazing entertainers. We've had the pleasure of highlighting some of them on Kids Connection. This week, we ventured out to the junior high school right here in Branson. They were holding a talent competition. Some of the talent included some amazing singers on stage with everything from country music to rap music. Some incredible musicians playing everything from piano to saxophone. And we even got to see some fantastic and amazing dancers. The talent show included everything from magic to yodeling. Some of the performers were nice enough to take a few minutes to talk with us about their experience being in this annual talent show at the Branson Junior High. We started off by talking with the host and MC of the evening. Hi, this is Christopher James with Kids Connection, and we are out at the Branson Junior High with the MC Hello. of tonight's event. You always wear a top hat? Uh, no, just occasionally. Yeah, just for fun? Yeah. So uh, what grade are you in, Tristan? I'm in eighth grade. Eighth grade, cool, all right. And you were the MC of tonight's show, right? Yes. Yes, so are you in the drama department? Correct. How long have you been in the drama department or interested in drama? I've been interested in drama for a while, ever since my church did, like, skits and stuff. But I've been Branson drama department since seventh grade. Yeah? So, uh, you did some magic in the show. How did you get the job of being MC? Because I'm the MC at the showboat, and I've done it for 11 years, and it's one of the hardest jobs in the entire show, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I got the job, well, we were auditioning, and I auditioned with magic, and I said, if I could be the MC, that'd be great. And they gave it to me. Yeah, you know what? Because the MC makes or breaks the show. That's what everybody tells yeah. me, at least. So, yeah, because you set the tone for it. And you did a lot of uh, different tricks. You did one of mine that I used to do in my show with the Coke can. That used to be my big uh, opener in my show to yeah. teach people how to follow directions. You did some card tricks in there as well. What is your, who is your inspiration in magic? Uh, well, there's this YouTuber I watch, How To Magic. He's pretty cool. Really? Do you know his name? Uh, it, Evan Era, I think. Yeah, Evan Era. Yeah. His YouTube channel, Evan Era TV. Oh, I think I know who that is. I'll have to give you uh, the website address for mine. So I have okay. a, an entire school on there. So that's good. So what do you plan to do when you uh, get out of school? I mean, you're in eighth grade. You got plenty of time to think about it. But what do you think you would want to do? Do you want to be in uh, drama, in uh, performing arts? Yes, I'd like to go into acting, directing. What kind of, you know, like movies or yeah. plays? Uh, like movies. Movies. Very good. All right. Well, you got a good start here because the best part, or the hardest part of being in any production is to be comfortable in front of the audience. And you did a great job at it, introducing so many different acts. And uh, you did a, is this your first time emceeing? Yes, uh, but I hope I do it more. I'm sure you will. So uh, thanks for uh, talking with us, Tristan. And uh, let's go visit with some more of the kids here at the Branson Junior High for Kids Connection. Thank you. Well, now we are out here at the Branson Junior High with Alex Artisan, Artisan who sang an Adele song out here. Now, um, do you take any singing lessons? No, I don't, but I'm in choir. In choir? In, at the junior, here at the junior high. And you're also in the drama department, right? Yes. What made you pick that song? Well, it kind of just spoke to me. It's one of my mom's favorite songs, so I know I had to do it. I just, it spoke to me. 
Well, you did a great job at it. It was fantastic up there. And uh, do you enjoy the drama class? Yes, very much. I have a very good teacher. You have to say that. I think your teacher's right over here somewhere. So, uh, yeah, you (laughs) kind of don't have a choice, do you? No, she seems very nice. And so what else does the drama department do throughout the year other than the talent show? Um, They do speech they do speech competitions. They go to other schools and they compete against other schools in speech. Like, they well said. Well said. <laughs> <laughs> that was, we should have probably wrote that out ahead of time. But are you in the? Do you do the speech competitions? No, I don't. Oh, okay. And how does the drama department do with the speech when they travel? Do they win a lot? Yeah, a lot. Mm-hmm. And what are your plans uh, when you get out of school? Or do you plan to go into performing? Yes, um, I actually am planning to go to LA to find a job in singing or being an actress. We're here with Jonathan and Zach, and uh, I just watched the show that you did, and you did uh, dancing up there, which uh, was pretty amazing, I got to tell you, because you must be incredibly flexible to do that. And so do you take dance classes here in Branson? Actually, no. Do you? Nope. So you just decided to go ahead and dance even though you've never... Do you dance for fun? Well, I guess sometimes at parties and stuff. Okay. (laughs) I don't. It looks like I'm being stung by bees if I'm dancing. It's a terrible, terrible experience. But you're in the drama department, right, here at the school. And so what do you plan to do with that? Do you plan to pursue a a career in drama? I mean, you're eighth graders, but right? You're both eighth graders. Uh, But what do you plan to do? You want to go into dance? You want to go into uh, just performing in general? What about you first? I actually want to be an engineer, so a dancing engineer. So, an engineer, so you could dance on trains? Is that, or do you, what kind of engineer do you mean? Like a train engineer? An electrical engineer. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't dance when you're doing that. It'll look like you're being shocked and they will, uh, yeah, that could be a problem. And what about you, Zach, right? What, what do you plan to do? Um, I actually plan to go into professional marching band when I grow up. Uh, professional marching band? Yeah, it, oh. That's, oh, okay. I thought you were joking. There's a real, there's a professional marching band? And where do they where do they perform? Oh, it's I mean all over America. It's the uh, World Championships are in Indianapolis, but um, they they're about maybe a hundred cores and they all come together and just clash. It I mean absolute crazy stuff. What uh, instruments do you play? I play snare drum. Actually, I don't. I honestly don't know how many. I I play a lot of instruments. Well, I think that's a good qualification. I thought you were going to say you don't play any instruments, just like you guys said you don't dance, and then you do dance in the talent competition. But uh, thanks for talking with us out here, Jonathan and Zach. And uh, you guys did a great job. You were the closer for the show. So uh, everybody, you got a standing ovation. I don't know if you saw that. Uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, they were, they were very excited. Why are you so nervous? You were just on stage in front of thousands and thousands of people. <laughs> Thousands of people, and you're nervous at talking at um, talking to a million people. There's about a million people that watch this every week, give or take uh, 990,000. So my name is Christopher James. We're out here again at the Branson Junior High, and you look familiar. I think you're a dancer or something in the show. Did we uh, talk with you? But you guys did a, 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 a drum line, right? And what is your name? Danielle Villegas. Danielle Villegas. You seem shy. Are you in eighth grade as well? <laughs> it's going to be that kind of interview. <laughs> what would you like to do when you get out of school? I would actually like to go to med school. Oh, that was more than one word. You scared me for a minute. Okay. <laughs> that was good. Medical school, very good. And the shy one over here, come right up front so everybody can see you. <laughs> and what is your name? Maggie Rastifer. Ma- I think I know your family. Well, how about that? And you're in the drum line. You're in the drama department. Yes. Do you want to be in drama? I mean, I know uh, your home life probably doesn't give itself to a dramatic acting of any sort. Um, but uh, what do you plan to do? Do you also want to go to medical school or do you want to drum for the rest of your life? Not really. I want to go into like graphic design or animation or something like that. Something that has to do with art. So. Are you in the art class as well? Uh, yeah. Four of my things are up. Four of them? Yeah. That's good. We'll take a look at those in a minute there. 
Yeah, won't that be cool? And so you seem very nervous. You should be. I have stories about your mother. Oh, well. <laughs> because your mom was in a show that I used to go to all the time, Smoke on the Mountain, mm -hmm. right? Is that what the name of it was? And I was there one night when somebody leaps out of the audience and runs up on stage and decides they can play the piano better than your mother. Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah I was there. I was there. It was very difficult for me to get up to the stage. It was... <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. But we'll take a look at your paintings in just a minute. And uh, But you want to go into the medical field. What kind of doctor do you want to be? Well, neurosurgeon, if possible. But uh, after graduation, I plan to enlist myself in the Marines, too. So. Do you see yeah. this? Neurosurgeon? Marines? You want a drum? You want a... Uh, <laughs> We got, talkative earlier. No, she's not very talkative, but you should, you're in the same talent thing together. What is the, okay. Just saying, learn about, talk to the girls a little bit. <laughs> so your mom is a science teacher. So are you good at science? Sure. <laughs> and obviously speech. Uh, so I'm sorry, what is your name? Uh, Aria Spencer. Aria, and you sang a really cool song by Adele. You opened the show. Now, was it tough to actually open up the talent show here at the Branson Junior High? Um, I guess. Well, you were the opening act. So it's kind of a good thing to be the opening act because you don't have to worry about who goes before you, you know? You don't, yeah, you, you kind of set the tone for the entire thing. And how did you feel uh, that your performance went? Um, I felt it went fairly okay. Fairly okay? Yep. Okay, you aim to try. Yeah, that's good. That is, you aim to try, make it a goal to attempt to aim to try. Uh, so what do you plan on doing? Do you plan to get in, into science, like your mom, who is an amazing science teacher, I hear? Or uh, do you plan to get into some sort of performing or something totally different? Uh, definitely not performing, more than likely not science. Other than that, I have no idea what I'm going to do with Let's life. narrow down other things. Uh, do you want to... <laughs> Would you like to work for road construction? We can do this all day. Uh, would you like to be a chef for a small diner outside of Tucson? Um, cooking's fun, but maybe not outside of Tucson. Okay, let's keep going. We're going to get this. Uh, <laughs> no, that's good. What are your interests? What do you like to do? Um, I like to talk to people, and I like percussion. Band's life. Whoop, whoop. Um, what is that? Wait, what was that? Band is life. Whoop, whoop. Okay. And we will leave you on that note. So thank you for talking to us. Give them one more. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> and what's your name? My name is Aaliyah Collier. Oh, wave to everybody. Hey, we are out here with some of the performers at Branson Junior High Talent Show Competition Extravaganzas Got Talent The Voice. Three. I, I guess you could call it that. I could, that probably wouldn't be accurate, but uh, that uh, you were in the show and you sang? I sang Sugar Moon by Bob Willis and the Texas Playboys. And would that be a country and or a western song? Uh, yes. Okay, that's why I have not heard of it. Uh, so that's fun. That is good. Okay. And do you enjoy the country music? Um, I do. It's not my uh, most favorite, but I enjoy it. Pretty well. I think that's pretty much the uh, tagline to country music. So, yeah, it's not really my favorite, but I enjoy it pretty well. And uh, what about any other type of music that you really enjoy? Um, I mainly like acoustic kind of Irish music. Really? Are you Irish? I'm Irish. Uh, I do have a bit of it in me. So. A little bit of Irish? Well, that's good. What made you choose this song, then? Um, Scoot over here a little bit. <laughs> My family, we travel around and we like to play, and it was just a song that my dad was singing one day, and I was like, I was kind of interested in it, and I sort of picked it up over time, and it's something that I know very well, and it's something that I didn't, you know, have to practice really to get underneath my veins, and so I really got out there, and I just felt like I did. Underneath your veins? What is going on with the country music? Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> you should see a neurosurgeon. I know one. Calm down. It's not, yeah, you don't need to be nervous. There's nothing to be nervous about. I've done this like a million times. It's fine. I'm not nervous at all. What is your name? Ben Walworth. Okay. So, Ben, we have a lot to discuss. Yeah. Because you performed um, the theme songs uh, for Batman and Superman. Yes. yes what made you choose that? Um, I just felt I wanted to do something that was popular in today's culture. So I just... It was around the time the movie was starting to come out, so that's what kind of popped into my head. So uh, let's talk about the movie, because we talk about it all the time on my show. What do you think of it? 
I think it's really good. I really, I highly enjoyed it. Thank you. I think it's a good movie, too. People are giving it a hard time, but I think it was a really good movie. I thought it was really good, too. Yeah. So you picked the song. You came out. You played it on the saxophone. Yes. Right? And uh, I don't know instruments very well at all. Uh, so you play the saxophone. And do you play any other instruments? Um, I also play the piano. Not at the same time, because that would be awesome. You should do that. Like, could you do that? Yeah. Okay, so you could do Batman on one and Superman on the other. You could try that. Don't try, do. Okay. Aim to try. Don't be like that other girl that's just going to try it. Okay, do it. Just do it. Okay, so I think that would be incredible. So tell me more about you. What are some of your favorite classes here at school? Um, I like the band class, of course. Um, I like my algebra class. I'm, I really like all my classes. Those are like two completely different things. Yeah. Band and algebra. What do you plan to do? Do you plan to uh, have like a Pythagorean theorem concert? At some, like it could be like an A squared, B squared equals C squared. You could do that on the piano and the saxophone at the same time. But uh, what, do you, what, do you, what would you like to do? Um, I'm planning on probably going into um, some field of business or math, um, get a major in that, and maybe minor in um, music. Oh, Okay. Well, that's fun. Well, it was very nice talking to you. And you did a great job. That was one of my favorite ones in the entire show. So thank you, and thank you. You did, you did a song. I don't, I don't think I've ever heard this song before. And you did uh, Truman Sleeps. Is it from the movie Truman? Or it's about Truman? The, is it really from the... It is? Seriously? I, I was just trying to make a joke. I was trying to make a ha. Do, oh. do you like that movie? Yeah. Did you ever get the feeling that when you're just talking to somebody that you're really on television? There's a camera over there. I know. So uh, what made you pick this song? Because that movie's been around for a long time. I mean, it's got to be uh, at least uh, a year old. And so what made you choose that song? Well, um, my dad, he recommended the movie to me, and I really liked it when I saw it. And You really liked uh, your dad? Oh, you really liked the movie? You really liked Truman? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then um, I heard that in the movie, and I thought that was really interesting and emotional, and it sounded emotional. Okay, so let's talk about the movie. Okay, enough about the song. Uh, so the movie's kind of weird, because you, what if, for those of you that don't know, it's about a guy that finds out that he has been on a television show since before he was born, right? And uh, everybody watches it, and he discovers it. So uh, what makes you think that you're not on a show? Have you ever thought of this? Because I, I, my minor was uh, philosophy and reality, which I don't live in now. Um, but uh, have you ever really thought about, like, what, what did you think of the movie? I thought it was kind of creepy because, I mean, he's being watched by, like, a ton of people. I know. I could never have a job where people were just watching me. I hope you've enjoyed some of our conversations with the amazing students at Branson Junior High. We had the chance to watch the talent show, but we also had the chance to explore the school and visit with some students that wanted to discuss their artwork. You see, they have an incredible teacher that encourages their creativity. We want to highlight more of these students on Kids Connection. Plus, we want to take a minute to thank all of the parents and especially all of the teachers that have contacted us directly about showcasing some of their students on our show. We're going to try to highlight as many students and as many student programs as we can in the coming weeks. Right now, though, we want to go back and visit with one of the art students. You see, art has always been very important to me. I went to art school. I wanted to be an artist. And I still have my own art gallery here in Branson. Called Branson Scenic View, we showcase some of the great artwork from me and other artists in the area, highlighting the beautiful scenery and attractions here in Branson. Right now though, we're gonna talk with one student that had an amazing display and was so much fun to talk to. I hope you enjoy our conversation. Not only did we have a talent show out here at Branson Junior High, Branson, Missouri, we also had a little art exhibit and you were in the talent show, but you're also an artist. Tell me about this. Oh, well, this is um, a master study of a painting by Keith Haring, who was a pop art artist from the 80s. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't remember the 80s. But um, 
the 1980s, by the way, or else it wouldn't have the record player and stuff. That would be kind of weird. It was like 1680s. But uh, who is your favorite pop artist? Definitely Keith Haring. Why is that? Because um, a lot of, like, the way that he did his art, he would do it like graffiti type stuff, and then it would only be there for one day, and the next day it would be gone. So if you wanted to see his original stuff in real life, you had to actually be there. And I thought that was kind of interesting. And I also just like a lot, like, how his art looks and kind of like, I don't know, it's all very happy. So I like happy art. You've also studied some other ones. You studied Warhol, who was my uh, mentor when I went to art school. I went to art school in uh, Pennsylvania. And uh, so Andy Warhol. And I see a lot of Lichtensteins out here as well. And so tell me about art class, because I met your art teacher and she was pretty cool. Uh, so tell me what class is like. Do you guys study a certain genre or a certain artist and then try to emulate it? Or is it totally up to you? Well, we do a little bit of both. Um, sometimes we do master studies where we choose like one painting by a certain artist or a certain artist in like a genre and um, copy it. And then other times we can do our own thing, but usually it has to be like with certain mediums and stuff. So. What's your favorite medium? Probably paint or pencil. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I know your mom's an, also an artist. Right, uh, because I've had her on the other show, and we've talked about her uh, classes she was going to have with uh, underwater uh, watercolors. I do remember that, which was going to be groundbreaking. Mm -hmm. uh, so, does she encourage your art at home? Yeah, pretty much. Um, my older sister is also an artist, so she does a lot too. So oh, that's great. Well, I love all of the art out here. Thank you so much for talking to me. I love this. Are you going to sell it? Probably not. There you go. Out of luck. Well, this concludes our look at some of the amazing students at the Branson Junior High Talent Show. If you happen to know of any incredible kids in your school, have them contact us. We'll put the information here on the screen. Get in touch with all of us here at Kids Connection. We'd be happy to highlight some of these students and some of the teachers that are inspiring our young people in the community. My name's Christopher James. Thanks for watching Kids Connection.